Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where Happy Beekeeping is a weight of life. Got a quick story for you as I step past water puddles. Hey, you are not going to believe this. That swarm of bees that I caught on Tuesday actually. I thought I caught them on like Wednesday, Thursday. I wasn't sure. Of course, you don't know anything about them yet. Well, Wednesday, Tuesday, I caught a swarm. I thought Wednesday or Thursday. I had to. I had to check with a friend of mine and see when it actually was. It was Tuesday that I caught this swarm. Today is Monday of the following week, and Tuesday I caught a swarm. Boxed them up, closed them up, as I always do for 48 hours minimum. Uh, you know, three days doesn't hurt them, but if you're gonna lock them up for much more time, they gotta they gotta have something to eat. So I caught them Tuesday, locked them up, and left town <laughs> and forgot about them. But I put them inside my shed, Th this old junk shed that's fallen down. But it's a cool, damp place, out of the sun, out of the rain, and. You know, I, I don't know what other factors contributed, but we've had rain the past few days here, and it's been a uh, milder temperature. So I came back, what? Uh, got back in town about 2.30 this morning. Today's Monday, and I just thought about them today. Didn't think about them last night. Didn't think about them the whole time I was gone. But this morning when I got up, I said, Oh no, I killed a box of bees. And I had some things to do this morning, so I didn't rush over here to let them to, to dump the box out, which is exactly what I expected to have to do. Uh, went and got my hair cut, ran a few errands, came back by here, and I saw a little bit of activity around the box, and I thought, I wonder if uh, something else is scouting it because they smell something so i go in there and i pull the entrance cover off expecting to find piles of bees and all i find is two or three little dead bees laying right at the entrance to this box hey let me show you so i pull the cover uh, the uh, entrance cover which was this pull the entrance cover and I see movement I don't see a pile of dead bees I said I saw a bunch of trash As a matter of fact they have cleaned up most of the trash that was there Wow they've only been open about half a day I put some old nasty comb in with them just because it needed to be cleaned up and they you know they'd start off better with some drawn comb so I threw this old comb in with them when I didn't find dead bees, I thought, well, maybe they're just on the combs, starved out. So I opened the lid, and this is exactly what I find. Now, they weren't moving real fast today. They're looking a lot better. Uh -uh, they weren't moving real fast earlier today. They're looking a lot better now that they've had half the day to run out and get water, gather nectar, pollen. So anyhow, they've been locked in this box for six days, six long days, and survived despite me. I am blown away. So not that it's really necessary, but right now I wanna go through and spot the queen real quick. They're acting really docile and content with where they are, so I'm 99% certain that the queen survived along with the rest of them. Yeah, come on. And they're still working on cleaning up this old nasty comb. It's, they've done quite a nice job of it. It was all cruddy looking like that. It had mold and mildew over a lot of it. Wow. 
Well, yeah, they've done a lot. This is still dirty comb, but they've done really a lot to clean it up. I would not be at all surprised if she, there she is right there. Wow, I can't believe I spotted her. I'm, I'm holding this with one hand, so I can't really point her out, but she's crawling across the top of everybody headed towards the corner. It's kind of small. Just went under the top bar around to the other side. Blow some of these out of the way and see if she's do anything they're polishing the bottoms of the cells if you can see the shine and they are uh, bringing in nectar already in half a day some of these cells are full to the top with nectar there she goes across the top crazy fast walking thing a little bitty though. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna um, put them back in there and leave her alone because she's acting kind of squirrely. I don't want to do anything to upset them and have them take it out on her. inspection as the sun sets this little colony here tiny little bunch of bees probably about the size of what you'd put in a mating nuke if that much and I put a mated queen in with them and was going to um, ooh, there's some yuckage must be where it rained uh, anyway I put a mated queen in with them and was going to add some brood but I've been like I say, out of town and haven't had time. Doesn't look like they accepted her. She was certainly in there long enough. Now there's a uh, queen cell with a larva in it. Maybe they, <laughs> Maybe they got her laying long enough to get a queen out of her and dispatch her. I might have to either combine them or add some brood to them anyway. These, these little groups like this are the kind that I'll experiment with and see if I can bring them back from the brink with as little inter intervention as possible. These are not going to last out that queen cell um, maturing and getting mated and starting to lay and then waiting on brood to come along. So eh, I may add some brood in and some more bees but i kind of doubt it there's so few bees in there they're not worth the hassle really let's check this one out real quick 
that's what they're supposed to look like when you open them they're supposed to be wall-to-wall jam-packed looking for somewhere to get some alone time <laughs> and not finding anywhere well that's it for today thanks for checking out the video if you're not subscribed please subscribe click like all that good stuff if you enjoy the channel or if you are looking for some more hobby beekeeping videos check us out just go down below click on videos <laughs> go down below in the light click on videos and there's a whole bunch of them down there so uh, have fun browsing thanks for watching What's a day of beekeeping without some shopping thrown in, right? Retail therapy. Retail therapy. <laughs> Can't even fit in my truck.